Hello and <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello and welcome back to Dubious Engineering. Here we have the Xiaomi M365. Is it dangerous? I don't think so. Is it useful? Yeah. Does it work with a full-sized human being riding it? Yeah. These are some of the questions that I'd like to answer today about electric scooters. More specifically, let's have a look at the Xiaomi M365. It's quite cool. Hello everyone, welcome back to Dubious Engineering. In front of me, I've got the Xiaomi M365 electric scooter. Nipping down the shops and just grabbing a few bits that you'd forgotten, the shop is a quarter of a mile from my house. I'm there in a heartbeat. I used to do that walk. I should probably do the walk because it'll probably keep me fitter. I don't get enough exercise. But convenience, this is absolute convenience. It's small, it's compact. Um, it lives behind the sofa in our house and um, it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's really easy to plug it in and recharge it. Uh, you know, it's literally just a, a, a power brick and a, and a, and a plug. It's, <laughs> it's dead easy. It's got a lovely little kickstand as well, which keeps it in its upright orientation. All the controls are dead simple. It's got a couple of different modes um, of speed, so you can change between uh, high speed and low speed settings or power conservation settings. And then on top of that, it's got a light on the front of it, one of these sort of high power Cree LED style uh, front lights. And then on the back, it has a red flashing LED rear light as well. It even has a little bell. <laughs> that's just to warn people that you're approaching them <laughs> i try to be as polite as i can i use this on the um on the cycleways and on the uh on the footpaths around this area and i do my best to be as polite and courteous to people as i possibly can because i don't want to develop a reputation oh as the guy on the scooter nearly ran me over the other day so I slow right down when I approach people and I just let them know kindly that I'm coming round and I just say, hey, coming past on your right, coming past on your left. Thanks ever so much. Sorry. Bye. You know, I think this is the important thing. A common courtesy. Yeah. Don't just go hammering it hell for leather and expect people to get out of your way. They probably didn't even hear you coming. This, the other thing about this is it's virtually silent. At least with the bicycle, you get some noise out of it. With this thing, you don't get much noise out of it at all. It is just virtually silent. Another thing that I've heard about these guys, uh, the tires. Um, if you get a puncture, it's an absolute nightmare to replace the inner tube uh, on the tire. So some people suggest using some slime it's a special anti-puncture goop that you put inside your tire effectively to reduce the potential for, for a puncture to allow air out of your tire. So uh, you might want to consider some slime. I might do it at some point in the future. I think I'll wait until I've got a puncture first. So far it's been good. It feels ergonomic. It's, it's man-sized. It's grown-up size. It's got a good size to the handlebars. It, and nothing feels spindly or thin or twitchy. Um, everything feels pretty solid. And to be honest, the speeds that, that, um, that this thing does, uh, they're, you know, sort of 12 miles an hour, 14 miles an hour. It can get a little bit, a little bit hairy. Yeah, you know, regular bicycles with people on them, 20 miles an hour, maybe 30 miles an hour. So this thing's about half the speed of a bicycle. So anyway, I'm going on about bicycles, but really, you know, dear English government, please consider 
the fact that the likes of most places in Europe find it perfectly acceptable for people to be using these on their um, footpaths, on the bicycle roads. Just, just reconsider where you're at, please, English government, and um, allow people to, to use these pollution-free electric vehicles. Perhaps people will be less motivated to get in their car and start the engine and drive a mile when you can get on one of these and zip down a shop and zip home in just about the same amount of time without causing the congestion, without causing the pollution that your car engine does. Now, yeah, okay, you have to charge it up. Where does the electricity come from? Hopefully renewable sources. Probably not, maybe a nuclear power station or something like that. Don't worry, I'm not getting all eco-warrior on you. Um, I like big, fat, hairy V8 engines as well. But, you know, I, I am starting to appreciate um, where the world is going with electric power and renewable energy. I think the world is heading in a fantastic direction. A lot of people use these in the flatlands, in the cities, to, to get around. I don't live in, in the city, I live uh, in a more a countryfied sort of uh, little town. And um, I'll say it struggles up hills <laughs> with my fat belly attached to the top of it. Um, put my wife on there and, and she zips along. She's, uh, she's Asian, she's, <laughs> she's made by the same people that make this. <laughs> um, she's very skinny and, uh, and lightweight. She's um, what, 100 pounds or less. Uh, I'm up 160 pounds, so 80 kilos or so. And um, it struggles to take me up the hills unless the battery is fully charged. So with Vicky, uh, no worries, I'm sure she gets around really, really uh, quickly and easily on it. A few little key things. Um, here, I 3D printed a little shopping bag hook. They're available on Thingiverse to download. Um, I felt the need to, uh, to do that because um, there was nowhere to hang a small bag. You, you'd have to have a rucksack. The batteries are all in the bottom of it down here. There's a whole load of lithium ion batteries, 18650s, that, uh, that drive this. And there's a, a battery management circuit and power controller, speed controller for the, uh, for the hub. It's a 500 watt brushless motor in the hub. We've got a throttle control over here, uh, which rotates like this. And that feels a little bit, it doesn't feel quality like the rest of this, but it, it, it's perfectly functional. It, it does what it says on the tin. Brake lever feels quite good. It's a cable brake. Um, it's a disc brake, as I say. When the brake, when the when when it first comes, I, I think the uh, the brakes need a bit of a tweak. They don't. Um, the back brake doesn't perform very well. It's okay. It's not brilliant. Um, the hub motor. When you hit the brakes, the hub motor. Um, then feeds back into the battery, regenerative braking. Um, and so you get the hub motor slowing you down and you get the disc brake at the back slowing you down as well. Are they the most effective brakes in the world? No, not really. So I've had this now for about three months. I didn't want to take it out of the box and just say, wow, this is really cool without giving it a bit of a thorough testing. And so far it's, um, it's stood up to my fat abdomen being uh, attached to the top surface plate here via my feet, obviously. Um, and, um, you know, it's got pneumatic tires on it. So the tires are full of air. So there's an element of suspension that you get through the tires, which gives you a, a slightly um, more comfortable ride. As you can see, there's plenty of dust and dirt on it. So you can see I've really been using it. Um, I can't remember exactly how many miles I've done on it now, but probably about 50 miles. It's about four or five charges of the battery. I think these things are really useful in big cities that are flat. I think where I live, and you have pavements with holes in them, um, you shouldn't be riding it on the pavement anyway. You shouldn't be riding it on the road either, apparently. These are completely illegal in England. No one should have one. <laughs> Stupid English government for you. Um, are they dangerous? <laughs> are they dangerous? Good question. 
I don't believe they're dangerous. I don't believe they're any more dangerous. I, okay, yeah, they can be dangerous if you're a Muppet. Well, you know what? People get killed on bicycles all the time. I mean, the amount of competitive spirit and competitive riding that takes place on some of our roads on bicycles, just unbelievable. Are they dangerous? Yes, they're dangerous. Is it down to you? Uh, yeah, ultimately it's, it's, it's you and how you ride, whether you're a safe rider or not. That's the key. Whether you can look ahead and you can plan and you can say to yourself, am I gonna be able to stop in time at these speeds? Is something going to pull out from a side road that I didn't expect? There's a lot of that. Um, people haven't had training. I think this is the key problem. I'm a motorbiker, so I have um, a full uh, motorbike license and I got that two or three years ago. And that was a wonderful refresher for me um, because it, uh, it made me, uh, really look, think and self-analyze about how I was riding. I want to stay safe, I want to stay alive. Having a, a motorbike license, I don't think you need a motorbike license to be able to ride one of these things. You should probably have a cycling proficiency license. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's as safe as you want it to be, yeah? The throttle goes that way and it goes that way. Yeah, you can go fast and you can go slow and safe. So you just gotta pick your moment, you just gotta choose when it makes sense to go fast and when it doesn't. Anyway, talking of going fast, how fast does this thing actually go? They claim on the paperwork that it's quite fast. They claim on the paperwork that it's in a region of 17 miles an hour or something along those lines. With my fat abdomen on it, um, you're lucky to get about 12 miles an hour out of it, 12 or 13 miles an hour out of it. Uh, and range, range is actually quite impressive, I will say. Um, they believe that you can get 20 miles out of the thing. Personally, no. Um, I've experienced so far about sort of 12 or 13 miles out of, the, out of this device. But that's still pretty, pretty impressive. I don't care if they've over-specified it. Um, the fact is, it's useful and it does do exactly what it says on the tin. Um, the engineering in it is pretty good. Uh, uh, the, 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 the seam welds and everything are absolutely solid. Some people complain about this little headstock connector here. Sometimes it can get a bit rattly. I haven't had that problem so far. As I said, the back brake isn't particularly great. Needs a bit of a tweak. Have to get the Allen wrenches out in a moment. Uh, but actually, in general, this thing is is pretty cool, and it's not too heavy. I mean, you can lift. Okay, I'm I'm a bigger chap, you know. If you're a, a, a slight person, then it might be a little bit heavy. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I could walk if I needed to. I could walk a mile or two hanging onto this thing. I'd probably have to change arms a few times. But you know, you could go. You could get on this. Uh, you get on a train with this, and and. Head into, head into the big cities and go for a nice gentle uh, trundle around. And, um, and you know, you can get from A to B pretty quickly. It is far, far faster than walking. It's akin to riding a bicycle. It's very similar to riding a bicycle. Um, it is really quite a cool device. 400 quid, is it expensive? 400 quid would get you a reasonable bicycle. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with spending 400 quid on this. I'm, I'm quite pleased with it so far. There are a few things like this little mud guard on the back here is a little bit flimsy. Uh, there are a few tweaks out there that people have put online, little engineering tweaks to strengthen things up. Um, so I might, uh, might do that. Obviously, the fact that there's no bag holder. Well, I've put a little 3D printed um, hook on this device here. So, you know, there's, there's little tweaks and, and, and that kind of stuff. But in principle, this is quite cool. The early versions, um, they had a problem when you use the regenerative braking function, uh, the, um, the power from the hub would feed back into the batteries and uh, it would blow fuses. You want it actually to feed back into the batteries, but um, on, the high, on the high regenerative braking session, high braking power, um, it, would, uh, it, it would overload the fuses and it would blow the fuses on the PCB. Now, um, apparently they fixed all that. There's firmware upgrades coming out for this on a reasonably regular basis. I've got an app for it on my phone that tells me the mileage, the battery levels, the speed I'm doing, that kind of stuff. Again, that's something else that doesn't exist on here. The ability to be able to put your phone on here would be 
really good. So at some point, I'm going to have to find a way to do that so that you can look at A, a GPS, and B, sort of track your mileage and your speed. Um, but generally speaking, I'm actually quite impressed with this thing. And uh, so there's a little bit of footage um, that, that I'm sure I've been showing you during the course of me chatting away here to try and make things slightly more interesting than, than you guys just listening to me chatting. <laughs> um, and you'll see that we've, um, we've, we've you know, done some experiments going up and down hills um, and also um, you know, on, the, on the flat. And this thing does operate best on the flat without a shadow of a doubt. I could walk faster than this. Anyway, I hope this has been useful to you. I know I've done a lot of talking. It is really quite a cool piece of kit. As always, thanks ever so much for watching. Take care, have a wonderful, wonderful week and weekend. If you haven't already, don't forget, subscribe to Dubious Engineering. Give us a good old thumbs up. Maybe pop a couple of comments in the comment section down below. Maybe you disagree with what I'm saying. Maybe, um, maybe there's more things you'd like to see or find out about this scooter that perhaps uh, warrants a second video. Cheers and beers. Bye for now. <laughs> Have some of that. Regenerative. Regenerative? <laughs> Regenerative. Regenerative. <laughs> Regenerative. Re put my teeth back in. It uses regenerate, 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 <laughs> regenerative, 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 regenerative braking. <laughs>